Hey guys, Gary's Good News Only on a beautiful April Friday afternoon, April 23rd. Gary's Good News Only. Let's jump right into it. We've got lots of it. 69% of the experts that talk with Zillow believe that inventory is going to start growing in the second half of this year. Great news because inventory levels are historically ridiculously low. Uh, CNBC says weekly mortgage demand jumps 8.6 after interest rates fall to a two month low. And that's good to see. We are seeing interest rates go back down a little bit. Uh, mortgage rates dropped. According to Realtor.com, home prices soar as spring buying season heats up. They're saying it's hotter in the buying season than it is in temperature outside. Already high home prices are climbing yet again as mortgage interest rates drop again below 3%. Mortgage, uh, excuse me, medium home prices soared 17.2% year over year in March and hits a record high of $329,100, according to NARS. Now, Phil Kirpin um, reports on COVID front. This is good news. In case y'all didn't know it, because I'm sure you never hear it from our government or our media, but Britain announced today that the pandemic's done. Their government scientists said there's no more pandemic, and that is a fact we don't reach the level of a pandemic anymore. The numbers that are required to be considered a pandemic, we're no longer in a pandemic. So it's over but you'll never hear, hear that from your government um, or your media today. Um, as of 6 a.m. on the 21st of April, 278 million vaccines distributed, 216 million administered, that's 77.7% .7 of, of those distributed and administered. 134.4 million people have received at least one shot and 87.6 uh, million have been fully vaccinated. That means 40.5% of the U.S. has received at least one shot, 26.4 have received both. Um, the 65 and up age group, 87, 80.7% have gotten one shot, 66% have gotten both. Now in South Carolina, we have 4 million shots have been distributed. Uh, 2.3, actually about 3 million have been actually administered. The percentage of the distributed vaccines now is 73.24%. Our 65 and overs are at 78.1, or excuse me, 78.8% for one shot um, and 65% for both. At 18 and over, we're 44.1% for one shot, 30.6% on both. COVID data as of April 22nd, very important. Our daily case peaks. Let's talk about that real quick. 11% daily cases are down last week, 75% down from the peak. That's right. Our cases are down 75% in this country since the peak. Positive test numbers, 13% uh, down last week, 69% down from the peak, uh, from the peak of the daily uh, positive rates. Daily deaths down 2% last week, down 79% since the peak. That's right, 79%. Hospitalizations did go up 2% this week, but they're still down 69% from the peak. And ICUs went up 4% this week, but they're down 66% from the peak. Um, we're 15 months now into this thing. CDC has printed, uh, printed on their website, zero to 17 uh, age group deaths is uh, from January all the way till now, which is what, 15, 16 months, 266 deaths. Let, and that's of the pediatric deaths, which is interesting, 182 deaths certificates they looked at, 35% um, of them had no plausible connection to COVID and they had to change them. So that kind of tells you 35% were overstated deaths. If you take 35% of the overall, which was they claim now about what, five or 600,000 people have died. If you actually look at the overstated deaths at about 35% of those two, it starts bringing it down to about 300,000. So it's likely that the, that number is complete hogwash. We've known that all along, but let's look at the number of deaths from the flu. In 2020 for uh, kids under 17, it was 434. Previous years were 477, 643, 251, 268, 803, 130, 1161. All but one of those were more than we're having now in a 16 month period for COVID. Remember, flu season is about four months. Um, I don't ever recall our kids wearing masks um, or not going to school um, and doing all the other silly stuff they're doing. Mississippi this week is now passed more than a week since they took their masks down. And of course, cases went down, of course, 56%. It's not shocking the media hasn't said anything about that. Not one state that's removed their mask mandate has had an increase in cases. And finally, I find this to be absolutely hilarious. Um, Andrew Boston reports a testing lab took Pepsi Max, milk, and mango chutney, and they tested them, and they all came back positive for COVID. So the, this gentleman tested 10 items in his house. Three of them came back positive. There was a couple of uh, negative or um, voided results. Basically, what you found out was a false positive rate of 43%. 43%. If you remove the voided numbers, it raises your false positive to 50%. So the numbers are all crap. All right. Hope everybody has a great week. Y'all come see us.